You know life's drill. Right in the morning, you open your eyes, get up from bed, move habitually in the bathroom, dress up and do your thing. Accept it. This is your everyday routine. However, I know you are one of the most ambitious people in the world and capable of doing more. So in this video, we are going to tell you about Top 10 Laws of Success by Jay Shetty. The video is going to be amazing so make sure you stick to the end. But before we start make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so let's start. Number 10. Start living in the present. The only way to stop living in the past is to start living in the now. Thus, you should start making plans for your future, set goals, and start spending your time with the people that matter the most. Stop wasting your time with negative people and with people who dwell in the beauty of the past. Quit imagining how wonderful life was before and thinking that those times were the best days of your life. It wasn't. Best days live in the present. Do not settle with the feeling that the best days of your life have already passed. Number 9. Live your purpose. In Salam Ismail's book entitled Exponential Organizations, he mentioned that every huge organization worldwide has a massive transformation purpose, MTP. An MTP has to be aspirational, service and purpose-based, and it has to be massive. When you are not living in your purpose, you will find yourself lost, it's chaotic, and you will find everything constant. But if you are working on your purpose, you will feel the momentum. Things work, and amazing things happen. Number 8. Overcome Envy People have three various responses to jealousy. The lowest response is to complain, criticize, compare and wish to have what others have. Next are the jealous people who tend to get up and work hard, as other people do to equal others' success. They give up criticizing. However, they still complain and compare. Now, the best and highest response to jealousy is giving up comparisons, complaints, criticisms, and every negative thing they feel to just focus on their own goal. Instead of looking at what other people have, they look into their own and find what they truly want to achieve. Number 7. Run away from victim mentality. According to Jay Shetty, a victim mindset is a one-way ticket to a lifelong commitment to pain, disappointment, and sadness. You might have had it hard in life, but if you don't get out of that cage, you will be forever stuck in that situation. People who have a mindset of healing and a mentality of perspective have found their way out. Number 6. Accept pain. If you grew up living in emotional trauma, do not live by the pain but accept it as it is. Or else, you will be continuing the cycle where you, yourself became a victim. Don't let the future generation go in the same direction you walk through. Number 5. Express love. Never forget to tell the people you love how you cherish them. Do not leave someone unless you have told them how much they mean to you. You never know how much time they still have, or if you will get to see them again. Do not let your last interaction with people you love be chaotic. That would leave you with regrets. Number 4. Put yourself first. Putting yourself before other people sounds selfish, but it's not. It allows you to serve others better. By putting yourself first, you get the chance to fill up so you can give more. Remember the old saying that you can't pour from an empty cup. So, putting yourself first is never selfish if your main intention is to give more and serve other people better. Number 3. Protect yourself. Jay Shetty gave us an example, so try to think of this analogy. If you are a lifeguard, fit and healthy, and someone is drowning in the ocean, then go and save that person. But if you are not, you have to call a real lifeguard to help them out. It is not your responsibility to give favors to all people. It's a good thing, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're bad if you don't. If you're not giving from your heart, if your gut is telling you not to, then don't. It is better to ask someone who can help them than go by yourself with all toxic emotions flowing out of you. Number 2. Be compassionate. Have you noticed that many people look at successful people and wish they were on the same page? But only a few seem to look at those people who had it worst and feel lucky to have a better life than them. If you practice looking at how better you are doing than those less fortunate, you will amplify gratitude rather than envy. Look around you and see how favored you are. Number 1. Adopt the 3S model. Life can make you feel like you're drowning and floundering in anxiety, stress, or depression, and it makes you yearn for fresh air. Asserting that, Jay Shetty shared in the book, The 3S Model, Sight, 
scents and sounds. Whatever it is that you see, hear and smell has a heartfelt impact on your mental state. For instance, COVID-19 made people walk around with masks. Hence, some people had difficulty understanding what the other person says. They can't hear people properly though masks do not affect the ear. Here, we see that some people are not using their ears to hear, but rather their eyes to see people's lips. People use sight in every interaction and sometimes forget to listen. Withal, when you are too dazed and lost in vision, you can't smell and taste anything. So you got to reactivate your senses. Let your life be sight designed, sense designed, and scent designed. If you see your phone first thing in the morning and last thing at night, you live a poor sight designed life. You don't get to choose the breakfast of your mind and just fill it in on what you see on your social media feeds. So, your mind is filled with monkey mind stuff like envy, jealousy, kala, comparison, competition, and all these negative stuff.